What's going on everyone? Mike go back. Super excited to do another box break. Today I'll be breaking one blaster box of 2021 Topps Heritage Baseball. Fun product. Look forward to this every year. Pretty sizable set celebrating a vintage design from years past. They just move up one every year. So this year, 1972. Next year will be 73. Definitely a fun product. Fun checklist. Look for some rookies and such. This product was slated to come out this week to be released. Got bumped to next week, so you'll see the hobby stuff drop next week. But retail is starting to find its way into stores. Was super lucky. Right place, right time. A few boxes were put out. The shelf was able to grab two of them. Gave one to my dad to break, and I'll be breaking this one with you guys. So... Got a chance at limited, exclusive 1972 tops of Venezuela stamps. We'll see if we get any of them. Seven packs per box, one extra pack, so technically eight packs. Nine cards per pack, 72 cards per box. So we'll see what we can get. Uh, as always, autographs, super tough in this product, specifically retail, but even hobby are usually only a couple per case. You're a little more likely to hit a relic card. You can get chrome parallels, refractor parallels. They're all tough as well. They do have hot boxes. I'm, well, I'm not completely sure if they're doing that in 2021 or not, but they have in years past, and that has included retail as well. Those include the purple refractors. So we'll see what we do. This is all about having fun, being able to break a product. Most products are very overpriced on the hobby side and retail of course as everyone knows is extremely difficult to find so this is all about the fun factor for me if we hit anything awesome that's just a bonus would love to hit some rookies but we will see what happens so here's a look at what the pack looks like all the different odds you got high numbered variations or short prints, one and three. Chrome, chrome refractors. Chrome silver border. Chrome black border. So all the different parallels. French text, errors, missing stars. So stuff is tough. Autographs, one and two, 26. So that's not, not as bad as I thought. I mean, still obviously tough. But pack number one. Nick Castellanos. Gio Gonzalez, Rick Porcello, Brett Anderson, Jesus Lazardo, boyhood, boyhood photos of the stars, Hunter Dozier, Blake Snell, strikeout leaders, Bieber, Giolito, and Garrett Cole, and a Jake Cronenworth in action. So you see the code down there, 546. I think in action is just, uh, I think they're base cards this year. Yeah. But Jake Cronenworth, nice rookie to hit. Had a really solid rookie campaign in 2020. At one point was thought to be the favorite to uh, win rookie of the year. Ended up being a little past up. But here's an Alec Bohm, so happy to hit that. Solid hit there. Bohm ended up... I think finishing number two in the uh, Rookie of the Year voting. Eric Thames, Justin Verlander, Kiebert Ruiz, rookie. Miguel Rojas. Oh, Relic. All right, I'll take a Relic. I'll take a Relic over nothing. Obviously, autographs always preferred, but what's cool about this is it's an Aaron Nola, so that one fits the collection. Clubhouse Collection, Aaron Nola, Game Used Memorabilia. Typically, the relics out of Heritage don't sell. They don't command a uh, big dollar amount or anything like that, but still saves me from having to go out and purchase. So, pretty cool. Definitely happy with that. Got some Tigers rookie stars. And NL postseason, Cody Bellinger. I like the product. I mean, 72's never been my favorite design. I mean, I like it. There's just others uh, that I prefer more, but, I mean, they look great. Polanco, Grossman, Ender, Enciarte, Soto, Adam Hazley. 
Whit Merrifield, Victor Reyes, Alberto Mondesi, Alec Bohm. So that's cool. Definitely cool to uh, to have a Bohm solo. Should be looking for the high numbers. I forget. I didn't glance at the checklist, so I forget exactly what the number of cards are. But should hit some high numbers. Like Blake Snell, I believe. 497 should definitely be a high number. So should take a look at that. The high number short prints. Thing about Topps Heritage is it's huge among set collectors, so a lot of people love to rip it and make sets. Uh, I feel like this year will be a little harder for people to rip with the price of the hobby and singles being less and less uh, available. This is Joey Votto, Harry Truman, Enrique Hernandez, Randall Gritchick, Keston Hiera in action. So I think Hernandez would be a short print. Technically, the Truman is a insert. I'm sure the new products for baseball will start flowing out. Inception came out massively overpriced. We've got uh, there's a nice Devin Williams rookie cup, rookie of the year last year. Strikeout leaders, Glaber, Alex Cobb, Javi Baez. But we'll have more products coming out as well as we get closer to the season. Gypsy Queen. I always like Gypsy Queen, but the hobby prices pre-sales on that, like $225 a box. I mean, it's usually about a $100 box. You got Topps Chrome and Finest and things like that coming later this summer. There's a nice Mookie Betts, Mitch Moreland, Eloy Jimenez, Man, Schwarber, Estrada, Lubob in action. Always a good idea at the end to flip through and kind of check all your co codes as well. Though in, in previous, or at least in last year, I think they actually would write by the number, like color swap or um, traded or something like that. Charlie Blackman, Rio Ruiz, Lucas Sims, Josh Lindblom, Chris Paddock, Cabrian Hayes, very cool. First Cabrian Hayes pool I've had this year. Rookie that's not getting a ton of attention to this point. Rookie of the Year award, Jackie Robinson. Geo Ursula short print. All right, final pack. Just like that, comes to an end. But fun rip for sure. Especially you hit retail, you can grab it for 20 bucks. To me, if you're a baseball fan, of course it's well worth it. You'll see people on Facebook posts taking pictures in the store. Is this worth it? Because they're looking to resell. But if you're a baseball fan, you enjoy ripping some packs. Of course it's worth it. Oh, there's a cool Clemente, a great one. Nice Bo Bichette and Clayton Kershaw. So that is an insert and all base. So out of a blaster, like it said, 72 cards, a stack of base. And then, well, we got some more base. And then the highlights of that box, great one, insert of Roberto Clemente, short print, Gio Ursula, Cabrian Hayes in action rookie, flashback, 1972, insert, Enrique Hernandez, short print, Blake Snell, short print, in action, rookie of Alec Bohm, relic of Aaron Nola, rookie of Kiebert Ruiz, rookie of Alec Bohm, and in-action rookie of Jake Cronenworth. So I would say that's a pretty good blaster. A lot of fun. Perfect for me for the collection. Uh, a lot of fun. So just happy to be able to grab that. Baseball products, for the most part, are a little easier to find than some of the basketball and football. They seem to be uh, 
first, first, uh, the first products on the minds or on the lists of the uh, flipping guys out there who are uh, hitting the stores consistently along with Pokemon. So sometimes baseball does get left behind, which is great news for the baseball collectors out there. So definitely worth taking a look. Of course, it will be difficult to find retail, but you can't find any if you never look. I'm not saying spend all your time, but if you swing in once in a while, you might have a shot. All right, thanks for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think of 2021 Topps Heritage Baseball, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.